He sold over 85 million books in 37 different languages, and his satirical fantasy novel set in Discworld had a devoted readership the world over. His output was prolific, and in 2009 he was knighted for his services to literature. In 2007, though, he announced that he was suffering from early-onset Alzheimer's disease, but he didn't allow this to stop him from writing, producing his final book just last year. And that wasn't all. He became an outspoken campaigner for Alzheimer's awareness, never afraid to talk about his own experience if he felt that it would help others. You just keep going, one day after the other, just like everybody else. But still fighting, because you, could all, you should always fight, especially if you think you're going to lose. He also donated just short of half a million pounds to the Alzheimer's Research Trust in protest at the lack of funding allocated to finding a cure for the disease. Later, he became an advocate of assisted dying. Terry was really an inspiration, as well as being an incredible storyteller. He was a great communicator of big ideas, a thinker. He turned his mind to really important moral questions, like the question of assisted dying. And I think he put a personal face on those big ideas, which is one of the reasons why he'll be so missed. Terry Pratchett had said that he hoped to be around long enough for a cure for Alzheimer's to be found. Sadly, that wasn't to be. And today, his daughter Rihanna tweeted, Terry took Death's arm and followed him through the doors and onto the black desert under the endless night. He died at home, surrounded by his family and with his cat sleeping on his bed.